Hello all, this is the third video on AVR interrupts. In this video, we will explore the timer 1 interrupt. We will be using ATmega 16 IC on the AVR development board and an uh, USB ASP is uh, connected to the ISP uh, socket of the AVR development board. Connect an LED at uh, pin 20, that is PD6 and then provide the USB cable to the USB ASP. Connect the power adapter to AVR development board. Now the setup is ready. Before starting, let us uh, set the fuse bits. For this, we will be using AVRPAL.net. By default, the H fuse is 0x99 uh, and L fuse is uh, 0xE1. That is, 80 mega 16 is working uh, with the local oscillator 1 megahertz. Let us change it to uh, 0 H fuse 0xD9 and L fuse 0xFD. This will make the uh, external uh, clock uh, 8 megahertz and uh, disable JTAG. Using AVR PAL dot, we can easily write the fuses. These are the registers concerned with the uh, timer 1. S yes, timer 1 is a 16 bit uh, timer. The timer counter control register has got two 8 bit registers A and B. The timer counter register has got two 8 bits H and L. And output compare registers two channels are there A and B, both are uh, 16 bits. And uh, TA MSK and TA FR are uh, common for all uh, timers. Uh, let us check up the code now. Uh, we have to include the header files initially and then inside the main function we make the uh, PD6 pin as output. As we have connected an LED at uh, PD6, we make that pin output. Inside the register TCCR1B, we make the bit uh, CS12 as 1 so that prescaler uh, is selected as 256. If you check up the register TCCR1B, the bits uh, 0, 1 and 2 uh, decide the prescaler. Uh, if you set the bit CS12 as 1, the prescaler will be 256. Now load the timer counter register with this value 49910. Let us see the calculation for this. Uh, the clock source is 8 megahertz and we use a prescaler of 256. So now the clock frequency becomes 8 followed by 6 uh, zeros divided by 256. It is 31250. Uh, let us uh, blink the LED at the 0.5 seconds that is 500 millisecond. The time period is now 1 by 31250 which is uh, 0 0.032 millisecond. For uh, 500 millisecond to elapse the counter uh, count is 500 divided by 0 0.032 that is 15625 as timer 1 is a 16 bit register it counts from 0 to 65535 and then overflows so we detect this value 15625 from 65535 so the value is 49910 if we load the counter TCNT1 as 49910 it will count out to 65535 to create a delay of 500 millisecond this calculation can be done online also. AVR uh, calculator is there online. You select the feed the frequency is 8 followed by 6 uh, zeros. Timer resolution is 16 bit and then prescaler is 256 and uh, select calculate using real time. Under real time you feed in 0.5 and then calculate. This is the calculation already we have done. And if you want one second delay you change the real time to 1 and then calculate. Uh, now the value is 31250 you detect that value from 65535 and this is the value you have to load the counter TCNT1 this is the list of prescalers and the count values we are calculated for 0.5 and 1 second let us load the counter with uh, 49910 so that the LED blinks at uh, uh, 500 millisecond that is uh, every half a second now next is the timer mask register we have to set the bit uh, Two uh, as uh, one that is to enable timer overflow interrupt TOIE one that is bit two of timer mask register. You enable that bit uh, using left shift operators so that uh, uh, overflow interrupt is enabled. Then enable the global interrupt using SCI and then the ISR is called automatically when uh, interrupt occurs. Inside the ISR function, you have to use the correct vector name timer1 underscore OVF underscore PECT small letters. 
inside the function we just toggle the uh, bit pd6 the led at pd6 is toggled when the interrupt occurs now save the file as uh, main.c inside the folder do not forget the .c extension and then fire up the m file you have to create the m file with uh, mcu 80 mega 16 port as usb and programmer is usb asp you have to save the make file inside the same folder where .c file exists both the files should be in the same folder .c file as well as the make file now uh, click on make all to generate the hex file now the hex file is uh, generated now click on program to upload the hex file onto the 80 mega 16 chip you can see the LED blinking at 0.5 second delay now let us make the LED blink at one second interval now load the counter register with uh, 34285 value and then save the file as uh, .c file uh, you can make uh, clean and then make all again this is the calculation already we have done uh, that is uh, 1000 millisecond divided by 0 0.032 period is uh, 31250 65535 minus 31250 will give the value 34285 you have to feed this value to the timer counter register 1 and then recompile uh, you make all to generate the hex file and then upload the file onto the chip now you can see the LED blinking at uh, one second interval now let us see the second example clear timer on compare mode CTC generally the data registers of timer 1 uh, are all 16 bit registers TCNT1 is a data register, OCR1A, OCR1B, these three are all uh, data registers uh, made up of 16 bits and the timer control register is also 16 bit. It is made up of two registers TCCR1A and TCCR1B, both 8 bits put together it will become 16 bit. By controlling the bits of uh, TCCR1A and TCCR1B we control the action of uh, a timer 1 in the previous example uh, the TCNT1 register started counting from 0 and when it reaches 65535 that is FF FF hex it uh, sets the flag TOV1 and then starts counting again instead of uh, uh, checking the flag manually we enable the interrupt TOIE1 and then the ISR function is called automatically. Now all the flags of uh, timer 1 are found inside the TAFR uh, register. That is bits uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5 of TAFR register uh, represent the flags of uh, timer 1. We are not going to manually check these flags. Uh, instead we use the interrupt. So in the second example we use the compare register OCR1A. There are two compare registers OCR1A and OCR1B. We load a value of uh, say 31250 that is to for a delay of one second uh, 31250 we load uh, OCR1A and when uh, the timer counter starts counting uh, it starts from zero and instead of counting up to 65535 uh, when it reaches uh, the OCR1A value when it reaches 31250 it enables the flag OCF1A so this uh, now the timer uh, will not count out to 65535 when it reaches the OCR1A uh, uh, value it will set the flag OCF1A so again instead of checking the flag, flag manually we will enable the interrupt OCIE1A output compare interrupt enable and then the ISR uh, function is called automatically the related ISR is called uh, let us uh, check the code now inside the code we include the two header files initially and then define the timer1 underscore init function this is our own uh, defined function to initialize the timer1 that is uh, TCCR1B register we enable the bit uh, WGM12 
so that the CTC mode is uh, enabled. Uh, clear timer on compare mode is enabled when you make the bit WGM12. And also the prescaler we select as 256, so enable the bit CS12. If you check at the TCCR1B register, you can uh, see that the bits CS1011 and 12, bit 0, 1 and 2 decide the prescaler value. We select the prescaler 256 and then the WGM bits are uh, found inside both the registers. TC WGM is waveform generation mode uh, used for PW PWM purpose. Here we set only the WGM 12 bit so that the CTC mode is enabled. Uh, if you check up the table of WGM bits, uh, you need to enable only the WGM 12 bit to make the CTC enabled. So we make WGM 12 enable using the left shift operator. Next is the uh, TC, uh, TCNT1 register, we initialize uh, the register and then we load the OCR1A compare register with a value, uh, uh, calculated value 31250. This is to generate as a delay of 1 second. Let us see the calculation of uh, uh, compare register. That is uh, clock is 8 megahertz and prescaler we used is uh, 256. So now the clock frequency becomes 8 followed by 6 uh, zeros divided by 256. It is 31250 hertz. So the time period will be reciprocal of this which is uh, 0 0.032 millisecond. To generate 1 millisecond uh, delay, sorry 1 second delay, uh, 1000 divided by this uh, 0 0.032 is uh, 31250. So you load this value into this OCR1 register which is a data register, 16-bit re data register. Now inside the timer mask register, you enable the output compare interrupt enable. That is OCIE1A. As we are using the A channel, we enable the interrupt 1A. Uh, the timer mask register is common for all timers. And then we enable the global interrupt by SCI. Now is the uh, uh, ISR function, that is the uh, vector name should be used correctly, timer1 underscore COMPA underscore small letter VECT. Uh, we have to use the correct vector name for inside the ISR function, inside which we toggle the bit PD6. Now the main function, inside the main function we make the PD6 as output and then call the timer1 function. You save the file as uh, main.c inside a folder and then uh, as we did earlier you compile the uh, code and then upload it. Now you can see the LED blinking at one second. The third example is uh, hardware enabled CTC where we make use of the pin PD5 uh, that is OC1A uh, that is output compare pin 1A and 1B. We may, uh, there are two pins, OC1A and OC1B. We make use of OC1A. There is no need of enabling uh, interrupt. Just to make the OC1A pin enabled so that the pin toggles on uh, uh, compare mode. So inside the main function, we enable the uh, PD5 pin as uh, output and then call the function timer1 init. Inside the timer1 init function, the TCCR 1B register we make the bit WGM12 this will enable the CTC mode and then we make the CS12 bit as 1 this will uh, make the prescaler as 256 this is same as we done in the second example if you check up the TCCR1 register apart from the WGM bits you have the bit uh, COM1A and uh, COM1B. This will decide the mode of the timer. Generally it is 0, 0. In this example we make that uh, COM1A S1 so that the output uh, pin PD5 toggles when compare is uh, achieved. So this is done with the TCCR1A register. 
we make the bit com one a s one and then we initialize the counter uh, tc and t one and then load the uh, compare register ocr one a with t three one two five zero so when tc and t one uh, starts counting when it reaches ocr one a it will make the uh, pd5 pin toggle so no need of uh, interrupt or isr functions it will automatically uh, toggle the uh, bit so you compile and upload you can see the uh, led at uh, pd5 uh, now you have to change the connection to pd5 the led will blink thank you for watching